Right, what's up guys? Just I just want to start off the video with two things. One, thank you for all the additional subscribers I have obtained over the last few weeks. Um, very much appreciated and thank you. Uh, second of all, I also did a video the other day on making $40 million with the event week this week. Uh, I've deleted that video because it wasn't exactly 100% accurate and I didn't want it to become a clickbait so I got rid of it if you did watch it completely ignore it because I didn't do the maths properly I didn't really test it out first so I'm gonna leave all the mathematical videos to the people who actually do the research on them but without further ado get into the actual video And what is up? So today <clears throat> we are going to be discussing the repo missions as they are double money, I think. Are they double? Yes, double money this week. Um, getting between about 27,000 and 50,000 depending on how long it takes you to do them. It is one of them kind of things the longer you take the more money you get but I think the highest I've ever got is 50,000 so I think it stops at that point but <clears throat> we're gonna go through them all the first one is obviously they're all repo the first one is blow up four I think it's four IV uh, basically just consists of going to a warehouse blowing up cars getting out of the warehouse and going that is basically it but the warehouse you can only start this mission once every single person is at the warehouse so if you've got someone who's AFK you're gonna have to either kill them or just wait because it will not let you proceed into the warehouse with the vehicles until they're all there so but it's very simple one of the easiest you go in blow up cars come out kill a few people leave the area that's it twenty seven to thirty thousand dollars piss easy burn rate is um, getting some fire trucks that are placed around the map um, two locations go into the docks extinguishing fires that are ablazing in cars you gotta put them all out whilst people are shooting at you and throw molotovs at you and relight in the cars this one's a little bit difficult because obviously if you're in the fire truck on your own you can't shoot them and everything and you have got to do it in time otherwise you fail the mission also there's well there's two sets there's two groups of cars you got to do them all also there's apparently a contact which you have to keep alive there's no one on the radar say protect this person but for some reason I did it the other day and this person died I didn't even know he was there and we failed the mission so <clears throat> GTA today this one is a bit of a pain because it involves getting four cars that are placed around the map taking them to the docks once again but there is another four cars that you need to get now every single time I have done this people have just sat at the docks waiting for the for the last car to turn up don't do that because you're then gonna have even less time to get to the cars and then get back to the docks I have failed this every single time because of people just sitting at the docks after they've delivered the first four cars thinking oh that's it you get 20 minutes to do the mission for a reason because it doesn't take 20 minutes to get four cars to the docks especially when you haven't got to fight off anyone to get the cars really so once you've delivered the first four cars don't sit there race into the city sort of around the maze bank area you'll be a good distance between all four of them I know there's one in the parking lot by one of the nightclubs near the pier there's one in the little boat area <clears throat> um, and I, those are the only two I know offhand where they are exactly but yeah once you deliver the first four don't just sit there 
uh, do you even lift? Now I haven't done this one for a while, I'm not sure if there's a timer, <coughs> but it involves having to get a cargo bomb and picking up cars and then taking them to the top floor parking lot next to the um, dealership where Simeon works. Quite simple, but I'm not sure if there's a timer. Are we nearly there? Yeah, nearly there yet? Are, are we nearly there? Uh, from goes from the uh, dealership as normal over into Sandy Shores, or just just before Sandy Shores, having to get a um, <coughs> brocade. Brocade. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, but you got to move a load of RVs. So you got to get them out of the way first, and then get <coughs> to the uh, brocade, drive it back to the uh, what's it called? The dealership. Whilst people are shooting at you. <coughs> Again, very simple. I will go through which ones are easy to do on your own, and which ones are not. Uh, Sasquashed. Sasquashed. Squashed. Whatever. Involves getting. Quite obviously. Uh, Sasquatches from the Maze Bank Arena. Um, getting them and then going to blow up some cars by driving over them. Now, I would recommend not blowing them up by driving over them too much because if any of the cars get destroyed, then you fail the mission. So if any of the Sasquatches get blown up, that's it, you're done. So I, you can throw sticky bombs, so I'd suggest getting full ammo and everything and just use the sticky bombs to blow them up. If you place them right, you can take out like two at a time. <coughs> um, and then returning the Sasquatches to the uh, docks. Then we have Simeon Omax, -Mac Simeon Max, how would you pronounce that? Uh, race into the airport and get in four cars, depending on how many people you've got in the lobby, um, from the cargo plane, losing the cops, and then taking the cars back to the dealership. Very simple, very easy. And under the hammer, again, go into a police impound yard. Again, depending on how many people you've got in the lobby, if you've got one person, you've got to get two. You've got three people, you've got to get three. You've got four people, you've got to get four. Basically, just go there, get the cars, lose the cops, take them back to the docks. Very simple. Now, <clears throat> the ones that are pretty easy to do on your own are the blow up one because it li literally just consists of going to a warehouse, blowing up cars, leaving. That's it. Um, RV nearly there. Again, very easy because the brigade is actually it's actually pretty fast considering what it is. Um, so that's pretty simple to do on your own. Sasquashed. I think this is the one I got 50 grand for because it took me so long to do on my own. But there's no timer, so you haven't got to rush it. And uh, Simeon, Simeon no mix, whichever one that is, the airplane one where you got to go to the airport, take the cars out of the cargo plane. And under the hammer, again, if you're on your own, you got to do two cars. So it's one of them things where it takes you longer, but you're going to get more money for it anyway. <coughs> Like I said, right, one to definitely not do, do not attempt on your own, GTA Today, do not attempt it, because if you are on your own, you're going to have to get all four cars on your own. This is the only mission where the number of players do not matter on how many targets you need to get. If you've got four people, you got to get four cars. If you've got on your own, you got to get four cars, and then you got to get the other four cars. So you've got to get eight cars in total in 20 minutes. That means going from the docks to car, docks, car, docks, car. You can't do it. I've tried. You cannot do it in 20 minutes. You don't get more time because you're on your own either. So, <clears throat> but no, those are the Simeon two times money and RP missions for this week's event week. Uh, I will say again, a quick apology for the 40 grand event week information um, yeah it wasn't exactly accurate but I'm sorry about that if you watched it but if you did watch it just ignore it 
so don't don't listen to that but hopefully you did enjoy and I will see you next time if you did enjoy please leave a like comment any thoughts or suggestions or tactics that you may use to achieve high greatness in money gaining and also if you did enjoy don't know, forget to click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified on videos and updates that I unleash onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one